the procedure for Samsung Labs it started with uh, three rounds. Basically, we had a uh, we had two written rounds and one was an interview round. The first written round consisted of MCQs. It was half an hour. It was for half an hour, and the other was a programming round. And we had to write a code. We had to code something, and that was also for half an hour. And then we had interviews. So they selected few people for Samsung Labs, and uh, they had one interview. The other people were selected for Samsung Operations. They had two interviews. So I was selected for one interview part of thing. So the MCQs uh, they consisted of uh, basic C++ questions. We had uh, OOPs concepts, the uh, uh, classes and uh, inheritance. All these kinds of things were covered in it. They were basic questions, basic C++ and basic Java. and uh, they were kind of easy questions the uh, programming question uh, was a bit um, it was based on strings and it was kind of um, we had to make a, a predictive text uh, kind of thing for mobile so we had to write a program for that so um, it was a nice question i would say and uh, uh, they basically checked me on that program during my interview also then uh, they uh, checked the papers and then we were called for interviews the interview started off with they asked me my name and all and they tried making me comfortable there were two people in the panel and uh, then they told their profiles and they told me about uh, about samsung labs because uh, they were rec recruiting uh, few people for that uh, for that profile and, uh, and then uh, they asked me about the subjects which i had taken and during my study in computer science so uh, i told them almost all of the subjects from second year till fourth year and then uh, they asked me questions from around all of the subjects so mainly they asked me from uh, algorithms the basic algorithm questions which we have like uh, knapsack problems and uh, uh, you can say uh, string problems then trees binary trees and all those so all such questions were covered in it then uh, they asked me questions from data structures and then uh, there were questions from operating system architecture and uh, a bit of software engineering and unix questions so they covered almost all the uh, theoretical part which we studied during our four year time period uh, this was uh, this consisted mainly of my interview and then they asked me about my uh, intern during google what project i had done what uh, uh, what language i had used what uh, whatever i learned from that my experience there and they asked me everything about they asked me in detail about what project i had done and uh, what way it was and uh, then they asked me if i wanted to ask something kind of hr part was there then uh, i asked them basically about the profile and uh, about the salary and all i asked my doubts during that time and okay, this was the main part major questions which they asked during the technical interview were uh, they asked me about postfix and prefix kind of problems ki uh, uh, how to convert them uh, and what is the relation between postfix prefix infix these kind of things then uh, from architecture part they asked me what are the different types of caches what are the different policies which they implement and these kind of things i remembered a bit and i couldn't answer everything because uh, there were some uh, some portions we studied during our second year so uh, but they were convinced they were like they kept helping me ki uh, okay this is also there you try recollecting it these kind of things and then uh, they asked me about any algorithm in detail whether um, uh, any algorithm which you can say and uh, tell me about its complexity then uh, they asked me about the problem uh, uh, the problem which was there for the second uh, written test and uh, they asked me to optimize it and uh, it included uh, utilization of tries so uh, they help me out ki ha try this try this what else can be done so they help me optimize it and search out its complexity and all so uh, this was also included there and then they asked me about np problems and p problems and names of np problems what is the difference and mm, these things so these were the technical part of which, uh, part which they asked then uh, they asked me about the uh, project during uh, which i did during my google intern so basically my project included a song recommendations engine i had to build that engine for uh, for mobile systems uh, something which we have in uh, youtube that whenever you view a song and you have certain recommendations there uh, on the side so same kind of thing 
whenever uh, you listen to our song then uh, you'll have few recommendations related to the song and they were mainly based on certain characteristics of the song uh, not based on beats and all but rather the singer the uh, composer and the movie to which it belongs to these kind of attributes which were already saved they were hard coded so uh, this was the thing and then i had to make a feedback uh, feedback kind of mechanism uh, through which i can take feedback from the operations team there about uh, how well the recommendations were working or how good the recommendations were so that uh, we can uh, improve our weighing system of uh, of making recommendations for a song so this was the main um, problem statement for my intern few tips which uh, i can give from my side are cg matters it's not that cg doesn't matter at all because uh, most of the companies have at least a cut off of uh, 7.5 most of them most of the good companies have it at least so uh, try maintaining a good cg and if it's above 9 it's it works to your benefit a lot sometimes and uh, secondly take interest in coding if you want to go for it profile because uh, it will help try going for some uh, problem solving kind of sites try career cup initially then you can go for top coder try coach chef so um, all these will help you a lot because uh, and try innovating try solving problems basically so and keep doing it since your first year or second year take interest in all these things because uh, they will ultimately help and you won't have to you know worry during your placement uh, placement duration and uh, what else core subjects are also very important so keep studying what your professors actually teach you and don't just ignore them so because most of my technical questions were from all the theoretical subjects we studied from second year to fourth year so that is also very important